associated central uh, employees or uh, folks uh, associated with Hotcom or uh, or online trader central are uh, none of us are traders, but people like Melissa. Hello everyone and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. We are welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. We'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. Two minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. So thank you again everyone and welcome.
everyone and welcome. And with that, it is exactly 4.30 Eastern time here in the Boston area or wherever you may be. It is time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter today from the stockpush.com. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. Welcome to the webinar today, and thank you so much, Kevin and Online Trader Central. Today's lecture is going to be train 30 minutes a day to make $100,000 a year. So let's get started. If you'd like more information, you can go to my uh, website at www.thestockswish.com or feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also have a lot of videos on YouTube and you can add me to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Skype me at the Stock Swoosh. After the webinar today, if anyone would like to stay, I just wanted to let everyone know this now. I'm going to do a live post-market earnings review after today's webinar at 5.30. So if you would like to stay for this at the end, Kathy and Kevin are going to plop everyone over to my live trading room and we're going to take a look at some uh, symbols and some stocks that I have as a watch list for tonight. And then you'll see some of these things happen uh, that I'm like for tomorrow morning to trade. So let's get started. Do you want to trade the market for a living? And if you're here tonight, this might be why, because you are interested in learning how to trade, or maybe you're trading right now and you're not doing it for a living, but you want to take it more seriously. Well, it's time to get serious about it. Uh, the end of the year, coming into November, December, is a great time to start uh, ramping up to think about your goals for 2014. Do you want to train and need a solid strategy? Here was HWAY. This was a gap from the last week in October. And this is a strategy that we're going to talk about today. What this is right here, what this did, and the nice follow through that this chart pattern had. Do you wish you could work from home? A lot of people go into the office every day, have to commute, have a lot of stress before they even get up and go to work and have to get up so early. Trading is one of those things where you can actually do it from home. All you need is a computer and access to the internet. Do you wish you had a career with full-time pay and part-time hours, meaning you'd have time to do things like golf or other hobbies that you might have, sports, going to the gym, working out, or doing extracurricular activities that if you have a full-time job, and many people actually work more than 40 hours a week now at their full-time jobs, they don't have time for any of these types of activities except for the weekends. And then they're often doing things where they're catching up on stuff for the house they have to do. So it's a great idea to trade because you actually can trade and make money with part-time hours. Do you wish you had more time for leisure, meaning to go on a vacation? To go on a vacation, to take a three-day weekend. You know, trading is a kind of thing where you plan your own schedule. You don't punch a clock. The market isn't going to not, you know, care if you don't go to work on a Monday morning. You could take a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off and take a four-day weekend, a three-day weekend whenever you feel like it. Do you wish you had more time for family? This is a big thing too, and especially if you have little ones. You want to see them grow up, you want to go to their activities, you want to do stuff with them. And if you're working a lot, sometimes you can't get to all the activities because lots of school activities for kids are right after they get out of school, and then you miss these things. But if you trade and you're done before the market closes, you have time to go to the extracurricular activities to be with your family. So, you know, what is your dream job? If someone asked me what is my dream job, I'd say I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm trading because to me, my dream job is a job where I can earn a good living and I don't have to work a million hours a week. So for me, personal freedom actually plays a factor in my dream job. So ask yourself this. First of all, what is your dream job? If, you, if you, someone asked you this, what would you say? Would you even know how to answer? Number one. And second of all, does personal freedom play a factor in your dream job, meaning you can set your own hours. You can take a vacation when you want to. You don't have to report to a boss where you feel like you're under the knife all the time, working like a crazy person. For me, this was a big thing. One of the reasons I wanted to become a trader because I felt like the people that I worked for before constantly, constantly, constantly were had control of all of my time. And in trading, the market's only open for certain hours anyways, and I don't even trade the whole day. So ask yourself why we're here today. Think about these things. This is for you. Where do you see yourself in a year? Where, where do you see yourself in a year? Do you have any idea? And think, what are your 
financial goals for 2014. What are your financial goals? What are you looking to do? What do you want to accomplish? How much money do you want to make? How much money do you want to save? What, where do you see yourself in a year from now? And if you have absolutely no idea, then this is the time to start thinking about this. Write it down right now. Write it down in a journal. Start to meditate on these things. As far as I'm concerned, success in the market is about skill. It's, it's really about skill. It's not about luck. This is a chart of FIO. And every time I've traded this FIO, here and here and back in here and these days in the last week, and over here when it gapped and into here, every day I've traded this stock was about skill. It wasn't about luck at all. In fact, there was a day in FIO, you can't even see back here before where it gapped um, back in the early summer, where the actual bar of the day was green and I made money shorting it. Success in the market is about learning what to do and it takes a certain skill level. And if you have the skill, you can be successful. It's not about luck at all. If it was about luck, then people couldn't do this for a living. It's about skill and that's why you've got to learn what to do. One quality strategy is all you need to be successful. How do I know this? Because I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've been doing it now for over five years. I'm actually doing one strategy, which we're going to discuss today. And not only that, I'm even only doing it in one direction. Although you can do the strategy I do in both directions. However, I'm bringing new meaning to the word one because I'm really doing one strategy and in one direction every day that I trade. You don't even need to spend a lot of time in trades to become profitable. Now, if you want to spend more time in them to take them to larger targets, you can. But I have found that with trading in the beginning time of the day into the open, when the market opens at 9.30 Eastern time, and again, I'm not trading pre and post market, even though we're going to look at some of those things tonight, I'm not in the stocks. I get into the positions in the early morning period and am up very quickly. And I have found that many of these moves, the volatility happens in the early part of the trading day, which makes it great. And that's why you can trade in the morning and be up money in trades very quickly and get green as soon as you can. Because as soon as you're green to something, anything, half your trade, 20% of your trade, uh, a portion of it to the target, and you're green, then you can be relaxed. You can focus on what you're doing and you don't have to be stressed out about taking risk. So it is possible to earn a living working only 30 minutes a day. You just have to have a strategy that enables you to do this. So what strategy can you make $100,000 a year trading only 30 minutes a day? Well, what kind of strategy is this? It is GAPS. GAPS is the strategy. Here was the play from today. Actually, you could have done this Friday too. It was a GAP in body, B-O-D-Y. This was a GAP on Friday. And today, I play this today. Here's the GAP today. This is the chart of body, and this is a gap, and this is a gap, and this is a gap back here. So a gap is when the stock closes the night before and opens the next day at a different price. That's what happened from Thursday night to Friday, and the same thing happened today because at Friday, body closed around 388-ish and opened here on Monday morning around 388-ish too. So this is a gap today, and you see how it moved. Small little price point, but a nice move. And really, as soon as it took the trade, you're up in it. Really nice follow through momentum. Look at the chart from the gap back here in August. If you had taken this as an overnight or swing trade in body, back from the gap back here in August, around seven and a half dollars or so, and hold it, look, you would actually have made, look at this. This stock actually lost half its value just in really three months. Nice follow through on the move. And it's a great example of why I like to trade gaps. And I only do them intraday. However, you can take them for overnight positions because of the follow-through. And the reason is because of large institutional money. They're the ones that make the gaps in the first place. So why? Why trade gaps? And why do they work so well? And why do they pay so well? Because gaps are created with large institutional money. And that is what makes the gap in the first place. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. And what do I mean by that? I mean banks, hedge funds, money managers, big, big, big traders trading huge size. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap or the stock that you pick that is gapping. And then you confirm that the large money will flow with it because you want it to get continuous movement into the morning move into the gap. And by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Simple as that. Really, gaps are an event. They're a price event. 
They're a price event in the life of a chart. And they create a sense of urgency. Now let's go back here and look at this body. What's a sense of urgency here? If you are long this stock, which by the way, you should never, ever, ever, ever be. But if you are long this stock, can you see the sense of urgency that would come upon you if you woke up in the morning here and saw that you were long the position and it had gapped down to $4.50? What would you do? You would sell out of it. You would take your losses. You would take your lickens. You'd get out. And that's what people do. Now, the other thing is not everybody even gets out the first day. And that's why the follow through happens in here. You see that? So there's a sense of urgency. Because when people are down money, they don't like to be. And they get out. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. And this is why it has volatility and moves. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you are trading on the side of power, the people that are making the gap in the first place. And why doesn't even matter to me? Uh, and many people ask me that. I don't care why. Read the financial reports if you want to. It couldn't matter less to me. Right now, we have been in a sideways choppy market. This is a clip of the QQQs. And if you've been relying on a strategy to trade where you need the market in the last month, you're getting chopped to bits and pieces. This market has been sideways ever since the middle of October, almost a month here now. And you can see what's been going on. Now, we are in a bullish uptrend in the market, and we are going to rally and break through this and continue higher. But we've been in a rest period now here. Uh, holding this gap back up is a bullish gap in the market back from October 18th. Uh, but it's really been a sideways market for people. And if you're looking for direction for the market, you've had a hard time finding it even though the market's in an uptrend. And gaps are one of these strategies where you really don't need the market. You don't need the market to get these things to go and work. These gaps are on their own. And so it's been tough for people to do certain setups in the last month or so because if they've been looking for the market to help them go short or long, they are struggling. That's the great thing about gaps. They are on their own. So I have a system. I have a system that I use to find these gaps and to rate them. And I named it the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. And the purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning by using a checklist. Like a pilot or a doctor or anyone that would determine what they should do before they actually do their real job. It's a checklist. And this helps you determine what to trade. The Golden Gap system uses a 26-point checklist to trade. This is how I decide what I'm doing in the morning, and this is what we're going to look at tonight then when we look at the earnings. So the Golden Gap system teaches you to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Why? Because 26 things is a lot of things to look at on a chart to determine if something will qualify and work. It's a very detailed system. Number two, I want to get big moves on the day. So I'm looking for that in the qualification. Good targets. Number three, early confirmation of your bias in the move, which means a stock has to set up and trigger between 9.30 and 10. And if I don't get it to trigger and set between 9.30 and 10, then it's not going to work right in the day for me or I just flat out don't do it. And I also want number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward, which the rating system helps you determine when you go through the checklist. So playing gaps is fun because of the volatility and the momentum and also because you're up money soon and then they go to the moves in the morning and you can get on with your day. Gaps are a strategy that pay large profits and also offer consistent opportunity and regular setups. Things gap every single day. Trading in the market is exciting and it's fun when you have a strategy that works. You know, I talk to a lot of people. And if you don't have a strategy at all, you really shouldn't be trading. People think that they have a strategy, but really what they have is a setup. They have a setup that they do, a pattern that they play. That's a play, but it's not a strategy. In order to trade successfully, you need a strategy. Then you have the play that is inside the strategy. It's like something that fits in it. It's like a box, and then you have something inside the box. Just having a play itself does not have consistency. You have to have the play within the strategy. So if you don't have a strategy that works, then you need to find one. And if you don't have a strategy at all, then you still need to find one in order to become successful in the market. And I think a lot of people don't realize this. They, they don't realize this because they think they have a strategy, but it's just a play, which is the entry and exit and a pattern they're looking for, but that is not a strategy. So gaps are actually a strategy, a foundation 
One individual can trade the market successfully as a career, and you need the strategy to have the career part of it with a dependable method. In order to reap the rewards that the market has to offer, you need a quality system to follow, and it needs to be structured. The central structure to trading results must be a strategy with a solid foundation that is based on accurately reading price action and advanced technical analysis. And this is what I do, and this is what I teach people to do, and what we're going to talk about here in some of these trades tonight. So the golden gap uses the daily chart. That's how I'm reading the gap to make the decision for the stock pick, which allows for trades in the correct directional bias. So I'm looking to trade the gap in the direction of the gap. The golden gap uses the one minute chart. These are where I'm taking my trades, which allows for good risk to reward trades with accuracy to make more money. So I'm getting good risk to reward because I'm taking it on a minutia time frame to take the entry, which is the play part. But I'm looking at the strategy, the foundational part on the daily chart. And if I only had one chart to ever, ever trade off of, it would be the daily chart. And I could actually do everything that I need to do on that, even take a play. And, and again, this takes learning what to look at. It takes a trained eye, a trained eye. And this is where the skill part comes in. You're training your eyes to look for the right things and get the right focus. You know, you could take a, a, a hundred people, line them up in a room, and everybody look at a chart. And I'd say, tell me what's happening in that chart. And I bet everyone would say something different. If I plopped up a chart right now, you'd all say something different. But who's right? The one who predicts what this move is going to do before it actually does it and even goes to the right numbers. And this is how you become good as a trader, training your eye. In the end, precision and detail matter. Accuracy counts. It counts in trading on all fronts. And I don't care if you trade with medium size, big size, small size, accuracy matters. You've also got to have a quality strategy, which is the gaps, a good risk to reward. It has to have the potential there. The right entry, this means all the difference. Correct size, which means not oversizing or undersizing, and also the proper exit. And the correct size is, matters too because you want to make sure you get the most bang for your buck. You don't want to take 100 shares of something if you could take 1,000. And many people don't know where to put their stops or size themselves right. you got to learn this. So you can get the maximum moves of things. Being successful in the market takes detail and a certain level of precision, and you can learn it because detail matters. It can make a difference in you making a lot of money one day or losing one day. So you have to learn what to do and you have to learn when to do it. It's what to do and when. So critical in trading. Now, you know, I was thinking about this over the weekend. Ask yourself right now, are you a winner or a loser? Are you a winner or a loser? Tell me right now, right in the room. Nobody can see this but me. Are you a winner or a loser? Just tell me. You're talking to me. I'm not going to say anyone's names. Tell me if you're a winner or a loser. Are you a winner? Are you a winner? If you can't answer this question, then stop. Think about what you're doing. You have to believe you're a winner. You have to believe you're a winner. You have to say, I am a winner. <laughs> Baba says he's a lover. <laughs> that wasn't the question, <laughs> but that's interesting to know, Bubba. <laughs> That'll be the next webinar. Are you a lover or a fighter? Like Rocky. <laughs> Ultimately, learning how to be successful is very important. It's very, very important because you have to get to a point where you make a conscious decision. I am a winner. I want to be successful. Say it. Say it right now. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. Say it in the mirror. Say that you want to win. Not maybe or I might win or I'm not sure of myself. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. Say, I am a winner. I am a winner. This is a point of realization when you recognize that your life is your own creation and your own creation in your trading. You, you are the one who is in charge of your life. You and only you. You are the one that's in charge of your trading. You and only you. When you start to acknowledge your own personal power and your ability for personal growth and that you can learn something new like apps and make more money, you will be amazed at how things come together and how much your life can change for the better. Because if you can't even answer this question that I just asked you, then you have to stop and reevaluate step back. Think about what you're doing. It has to be a conscious decision. Sometimes it's just about opening up your eyes and seeing the possibilities for your own life. I want people to decide. Decide that you want to win. Make a conscious decision. I get up in the morning and say, I want to win today. I get up in the morning and say, I want to make money today. And not only that, you have to believe that you deserve it. You have to believe you deserve it, believe you deserve the success, believe you deserve the money, and that you deserve to have the life you want.
If you can't even get to that point, then you have to regroup mentally because you're going to need this in order to be successful training. And this comes with the skill. Training is a journey. Until you get on the right path, it is a journey for people. And a quality strategy is the right path. You know, I talk to many people since I started the business. And they say, well, I've done this class. I've done this thing. I've done that thing. I don't understand why I haven't been able to figure it out yet. And then they meet up with me. Well, you know, if everybody woke up and decided they wanted to trade and connected with the right person from day one, then no one would ever lose money in the market. That's why trading is a journey, and that's why it's different for everyone. You will go on your own path until you connect with the right people, the right traders, the right mentors, the right system, the right strategy. It's different for everyone. It was different for me than it's different from you. My journey was alone with the market, and I don't wish that on anyone because it was a lonely, hard road. And this is why I'm able to teach people so well what I know. However, the reality is that if you've been on this journey and not seen success, you can't give up if you really want to do this. You have to believe you're a winner if you want to do it. And you have to understand conceptually that the uh, getting from point A to getting from point B is a journey. And you won't make it successfully with the money until you get on the right path. And I don't know if you're on the right path yet. And these are the things you have to think about. But I know you need to get on the right path. And for me, this really had everything to do with the right strategy. So let's look at some gap trades here. Uh, some nice, nice gaps last week. It was a solid week uh, for gap trading the market. This was Qcore. Right here, you can see this day here. Nice, big, large red bar. Again, I like to short. So let's look at this. This is what was one of many gaps last week that was just absolutely phenomenal as far as the way that it moved in the entry. QCOR opened here, and even actually here where it opened, approximately like right under 65.50. And this move down here was a dollar and a half just in this first bar here. This is 60 seconds. This is a one minute chart. Really, just total 100% conviction that this was going to break then. So then you just wait to take it on a setup. Here's the entry on this right here. Tight stop. Why? Because this shouldn't back up on itself. You can see here where QCOR gapped. And it should not back up here. Why? Because if it backs up here, it's not going to work. So there should have been no rally in this, and there wasn't. And it just got sold off like a brick. Right down here was the first exit on QCOR, and even this move was huge. The entry time is 936. Price 6490 for the entry to take your position size. Stop over 6515. This is good enough of a cushion. Risk is 25 cents. On 2400 shares, the risk is an advance risk of $600. Exit at the first target 61. Bounced right at 61 the whole number. Total profit on this trade with this share size was $9,360. Again, this is a huge move. It's almost $4. This happened, let's look at how many minutes this happened. Here you're entering, one, two, three. You're out here in four minutes. Four minutes. Now, as it turns out, it went to a complete and total dream target. So if you had stayed in it to the dream target, and we'll go back and look at the daily, the dream target was down here 56.25 or even 56. Time of the day exit, though, was still in 30 minutes. Total profit, again, this is a $600 risk to start out the day. You can be lowering the stock. $20,760. This is in one trade. And what about the risk to reward in this? This is huge. 34.60. Now, will you get a trade like this every day? No. Will you get a trade like this every month? You might. So these are the kinds of trades that really get you excited about doing gaps and doing trading. So you could have gotten out of the whole thing here. This is a huge day. And if you held it all the way through, 10 Really, you're looking to get out of here around 10, 10.05, 10 o'clock, 10, 10 10.15 reversal time. And the thing just uh, collapsed. Here was really the dream target on this. It went a teeny weeny little bit underneath it. And if you want to get nuts, I mean, this thing really could have gone all the way down to $48. But again, I like to trade in the morning be out. Really, really, really nice moving Q core. And this is a higher price stock. Point. And even with this, a 25 cent stop would have covered you in this trade to take in and get the move. Had more than enough cushion in it. Again, four minutes for the first exit, 30 minutes for the second exit, dream target, total move of the stock on the day, total low of the day was done by 10.10. 10. Incredible move, fast in the morning. 
And this is the way gaps work. Why? Because of the sense of urgency of people selling out of them. Another amazing gap here last week in Cross. Look at this one here. Nice solid red bar, beautiful short. A lot of people don't think or understand what's going on here in this chart that it's going to work. But it did work. And actually, this went to the dream target. Went past the first target here and went to the dream target. So how do you know this is going to work? Well, first of all, you rate the gap. You rate the gap. You know Cross is good. You know this is a highly rated gap. It rates per the Golden Gap point 26 point rating system. Then the stock opens. You get immediate confirmation of your bias. This thing right here, look, dude, it tells you right away that it's going to work. And then you wait for a setup. Entry in this was right here. Beautiful, beautiful entry and had to move all the way down. And even broke really 21 was a dream target and it broke it. Entry time was 941, again, before 10 o'clock. Entry times 2196, stop over 2115, a little bit smaller of a stop for this one. 19 cents on 3,000 shares, it's $570 risk. So if you exit at the first target, was 949, eight minutes. You could have made $1,360, even this is a good trade. And if stayed into the dream target, you're in it once again. In less than 30 minutes, it goes to the dream target. Total profit, 3120. Risk to reward, 5.47. In less than 30 minutes. Let's go back and look at it. Here's the entry. Drops down in here. Could have got out right in here. You're in this for eight minutes and you're out. And if you hold it all the way down and keep lowering your stop, double bottom in here, boom, you're out. Again, look at the time of the day. Really nice move. Falls on through and was the low of the day. So how do you find these things? You have to have a rating system to find these stock picks. And learning how to take these entries and where to put the stop and how to size yourself correctly. So ask yourself, do you know the correct way to read a chart? I know many people will think, well, I know how to read candlesticks. I know how to read charts. I, I know how to read moving averages. I found that a lot of people think they know how to read charts. But then they meet up with me and I show them something completely different. They realize maybe why they haven't been finding success because they're not looking at a chart correct. And part of this has to do with directional bias. There's a huge importance in getting the directional bias right in your trade. Because if you are trying to go long something that is a short, you're not going to make money, you're going to lose. And if you're trying to short something that is a long, again, you're not going to make money, you're going to lose. ABX was a gap from Friday. It doesn't look like much, but really had a very nice risk to reward trade in here. Uh, some people, though, thought that this was a long. Why? Well, let's look and see how it's set up. ABX open and had a big rally up in here in this green bar. If you did not know how to read directional bias, you might buy this. Where? Why? Why would you buy it? You might buy it in here when it started to base and actually did a buy setup in here thinking it was going to follow through and go over the high of the day and fill the gap and go up to a target of 19 or so. But the fact is, that was not the correct directional bias. The correct directional bias in the correct train was to the downside, was a short. And that's the one that I did. Another beautiful, fantastic entry in this right here with a tight stop across this basey base. Dropped on down, I even took more of this when it ran up in here, and then it broke off. Really nice and went exactly to the target, which was $18. Entry time was 9.37, price was 18.28. Stop was over 18.35, this is a seven cents stop. Beautiful risk. Can you take 8,000 shares of this? Absolutely, plenty of volume in this. $560 risk at an $18 exit, profit is 22.40. Beautiful trade. Four times the amount risked was made in profit. And so you could have risked $560 and made $22.40. Now, if you are a new trader, if you are not an advanced trader, you don't have to take this much risk. Divide this by four, divide it by three, divide it by two, whatever you want to do. That doesn't take away from the risk to reward. The risk to reward means how much money am I risking dollar for dollar and what is my payout? The idea of a four times the amount risk to reward means for every dollar you risk, you made four. That's what this means here. So uh, for every dollar you risked here, you made four times. In this trade back here in Cross, for every dollar you risked, you made 5.4 times. So you risked a dollar, made five dollars. Same thing with QCore back here. For every dollar you risked, you made 34.6 dollars. 
AS42 is asking a question. And actually, if anyone else has any questions, you can ask me here now. We can answer them as we go along. What can you do for small account holders, Melissa? Well, if you have a small account, ES42, you will take a small amount of risk. That's what you will do. It depends on the buying power you have and how much money you're willing to risk. Maybe you only want to risk $50. Maybe that's all you want to risk on the uh, ABX, okay? Maybe you only want to risk $30 in the ABX. If you wanted to risk $35 in ABX, you could have taken 500 shares. And you would have still made four times the amount in profit. So you would have made four times 35. So you would have made still really good money. It doesn't, it's not even about the um, actual amount of sizing you take. Although as you get better, obviously you will make more money the more that you take. But if you wanted to risk $35, you could have made 140 bucks. That's four times the amount risked. So if you have a small account, you can do that. So that's a good trade, whether you risk $35 or $560. Okay? Here's another chart here. Gold and gaps have directional follow-through for longer-term plays. This is soda. Really nice fall through here in soda. And I think this backed up a little bit today, but this is a nice fall through and the chart's still lower. There's a nice long-term uh, target in this of 45. And how did this all start from this gap here? And actually from a gap all the way back up here in the soda. So there's follow through in these for long-term plays. And what does that mean for you? Well, as a trader, it helps you get conviction. This, seeing these things happen over and over and over again and with the follow through, like the body today, like the crust, like the cucumber, like the soda, it helps you get conviction. Uh, sell high, buy low. I didn't understand your question. If you have a question there, type it. Yeah, I sorry, I saw you had a typo. But let me know. So how do you achieve your goal? Your goal of trading success, what do you do? Well, if you want to learn gaps, then number one, you take the Golden Gap course. This is a class I teach because you first have to learn the information. Number two, then you practice trading gaps in a demo. Practice some demo for a week so that you don't press the wrong buttons. You know how to press the buttons and take the trades. Number three, you trade gaps live. Live with a real account with small size during the, doing the entries, just doing them in real time, and then the rating system in real, real time. So you can get good at it with small size at the beginning. And, and number four, oops, I numbered these wrong. Number four, set your annual monetary goals. Your annual monetary goals, I want to make this much money per year. And then you back it off, divide it by monthly and weekly. And then number five, you devise a money management plan for each day and week to achieve these goals. I have to make this much each day. I have to make this much each week. I have to make this much each month and this much each year. And I have found that if you make annual goals and monthly goals and weekly goals, it really helps you stay on track. Because some days when you make a daily goals, if you find yourself not finding any gaps on the day, you might push it to find something one day, but then you might have a day during the week where you have a huge day, better than expected, and then it could make your whole goal for the week. So I like the idea of making weekly goals for myself and to achieve the annual goal. So in order to make $100,000 a year, you, you need a business plan. It's like if you wanted to start a business, I mean, you can't just run out the door and do it. You actually have to say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get there in this amount of time frame. And you have to be realistic with yourself. You have to start from somewhere, and all you do is just write a business plan. And then you may check over it once a month, once a quarter, just like just like businesses do with their quarterly things, just like if you were your own, had your own company, were the own CEO, you're the CEO of your trading, and you have to be in charge of it. You need a how, what, and a where plan for booking the money. I'm going to take this strategy if the gap rates this number of points. I'm going to get added here. I'm going to be booked the money within by 10 a.m. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get green four days a week. One day I'm going to take off. Whatever you decide to do. I mean, you really do have to look at trading very strategically. It is about skill and having a strategy and having a business plan to be successful. If you don't take this seriously enough, the market will you know, take your money, okay? 
So you have to take it seriously. And even if you're doing it part time for 30 minutes a day, you still have to take it seriously. Okay, I take what I do very, very, very seriously, and I only trade in the morning. But in that time frame that I'm trading, I am so serious about what I'm doing. And I have a lot of focus. So it's about focusing on golden gaps. Golden gaps pay a good risk to reward pay. And what do I mean by that? I mean where you take $1 and you can make at least three. The right risk to reward trades equals results. This is how you get the money. The idea of taking a trade and risking $1 to make a dollar is not the best thing to do. In fact, today I took a trade where I was up more than an hour and I didn't take any of it off. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for things to actually get a move in them. So what is a good risk to reward payout? No, I, I do not trade the ES. RM is asking, do I trade the ES? I do not. I enjoy and like and have found a lot of success and volatility with companies actual companies in, in the stock market, in the NASDAQ and the New York Exchange that I like to trade. I found the best uh, success, momentum, volatility, it, at least in reference to gaps that I'm doing. Now, could you do my strategy with other things? Sure. Uh, I know there's a lot of ETFs, the gap that you could trade too. I just like to do companies because I think there's they, they come up on everybody's radar. People are that invested in these companies. They have more volatility, more momentum. Like you'll you know, you'd never get a move like Hucor had or even Cress if it wasn't an actual company. The biggest ones you're gonna get are in things like that. And so I love to do them. People don't understand how to trade equities in the in the different markets, so they tend to do other things that they think are more understandable, but you just got to understand them and learn them. So what is a good risk to reward payout? One to three in the low end. You're looking for three. That's your goal every day. Every day you want to make three risk amounts. Four to six in the middle end, eight to ten in the high end. And yes, some trades can go on to be more than ten risk units. So this means for every dollar you risk, you should have a goal of a minimum of $3. So once you're up three risk amounts, you could conceivably exit the trade. Now, I try to stay it through to a hard and fast exit rule, that exit rules I have that I teach in the class, but your goal really is three hours every day. But if you want to ever get to the days where you make eight to 10, you're going to have to sometimes stay in these things to the bigger numbers. And also, there should be a potential, a potential. You see the target. You got to know the targets. You got to learn the targets. The potential for even more of a payout if the stock goes to a dream target. And you don't need a dream target every week. You have something that you hold to a dream target even once a month. It really, really can make a difference in your P&L at the end of the month. So how much do you need to risk per trade to make $100,000 a year? And this is just $100,000 a year, period. On average, to make $100,000 per year as an annual income trading gaps, a normal risk unit of $250 per trade is suggested. And this comes out to, you're looking to make between eight and 10 grand a month to make 100K a year. So you're looking to make between 2,000 and 2,500 a week. There is nothing, nothing like positive results and real cash, real cash in your P&L where you pay yourself to boost your self-esteem as a trader. And this is where you say, I deserve it. I deserve to be successful. I'm a winner. And then you can say it to your friends and say it to yourself. Uh, Hawk is asking, what time does your platform scan for gaps? Well, like we're going to look for them tonight. And it's 5.09 Eastern time. You could start looking for gaps at 4 o'clock Eastern time after the market closes. You could get up tomorrow morning and start looking at them for at 7 a.m. You can look for them at night or in the morning. I get up in the morning and usually look at them in the very early morning. I like to get up and do that way before the market opens. But, you know, some people wait until the very last minute to look for gaps and then they're not prepared. I start, you know, uh, very early or I look at them at night and in the morning. Preparation is really key for me because I, I like to be situated. I like to go through the rating. I like to look at the resistance. I like to look at the targets, the support areas, all that stuff. Then I also actually like to look and see how much do I want to risk in this? Do I want to take more risk on this trade? How much conviction do I have in the gap? So how much to risk per trade to make $100,000 a year? Well, $500 a day, if you profited on average, would be $2,500 a week. This would amount to $130,000 a year. This is a very nice income. It's a nice income no matter where you live in the country or the world. 
$300 a day is $1,500 a week. Again, a very nice income. $78,000 a year working half an hour a day. This is good. This is a very good living. You're not working 60 hours a week to make this money. $150 a day, which by the way is doable, just ugh, so doable for even new people, is $750 a week. That's $39,000 a year. And although this may not pay all your bills, this is a great start. This is a great start for beginners. And, and many traders can't even make this. So once you can prove you could even do this, $150 a day, you can get to the point where you could start to risk and make $300 a day. And then you're making $300 a day. And you get to the point where you can make $500 a day. You're stair step casing up the ladder. So to be able to make $39,000 a year working 30 minutes a day is good. It is actually very good because most traders are losing money and can't even make this. To be able to make $130,000 a year working 30 minutes a day is great. And if you can get to the point where you're doing this, you're really on your way and you're, and you're a successful trader. And then all you have to do is just get up and continue doing what you're doing and eventually increase your risk to more. Because really, this is doable for anyone to get to this point starting with gaps. How do you do it? You have to learn to pick the good ones because there's lots and lots of stocks in the market that gap every day and they don't all work. And the ones that even look like they might work don't necessarily have the types of setups that I'm talking to you and showing you here tonight. The ones that I, my system finds a way to point me in the right direction of a stock pick that's going to have a setup where I'm going to be able to make the risk to reward, where I'm going to be able to get a move in something that's going to be able to pay me, okay? So learn how to earn great money working from home in just 30 minutes a day. Whether you want to do this to, to uh, have extra money to retire and still do another job, whether you have a business and want to do this on the side of the morning, whether you want to uh, do this and then get to the point where you're making over six figures so you can quit your regular job and have more of a life, it's possible. You have to start from square one. What does that mean? Getting the skill, honing the skill, learning how to read stuff that's really going on. I have very clean charts. I don't use any Fibonacci's or all these other wiggly wiggly types of different uh, things on my charts. And, and some people ask me, do I have you know certain indicators or, or, or any of these things? No, I don't. I really am an old fashioned girl trader that is reading price and every single choice, every decision I make, every trade that I take, every position I exit, every stock I look at, every gap I trade. Everything I do is always 100% focused on price. And the fact that I have uh, totally just gotten out of everything but looking at that and focusing on the price is what has made me become a good trader. And now that I'm able to teach people. When you're relying too much on something else that's on a chart, that it takes away from, like an indicator, for example, it takes away from your focus on the price action. And ultimately, what is going to make you the money is the focus on what's happening with the price to stay in something or exit something if you see that it's not working correctly. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. The Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. Again, I'm looking at companies, although you can do ETFs. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day to get good risk to reward trades. This is how you're going to make money. And again, the play is inside the strategy. And there are many plays in the strategy that I teach. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, how to read price action. And if you think you know how, you may learn something from me because I found that people have been trading for years, and I'm talking well over 10 years, have taken my class and learn stuff from me they never knew, looking at charts. The course teaches a more proficient and effective way to read support and resistance in the correct direction. And the course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader. Because your goal should be to become a good trader. And once you become a good trader, guess what? You're going to make money. And once you make money, then you're going to feel good about yourself and believe that you can do it. And then know that you're a winner and not even question yourself or your ability to be able to be successful. So the Golden Gap rating system is a 26-point checklist. This is the crux of everything I do. The setups I find, the good risk to reward trains, everything is because of this. This is a system I created myself, and it's so meaningful to me. 
It's so personal to me. It's everything. I just love what I do. I love teaching it. It's so, so uh, good. There is more than one step in the ladder for most people's journey to success, and I just need to point this out, like I was saying earlier, because, you know, it's not like you. there's one rung. There's many rungs to a ladder. To get to the top, to be able to work 30 minutes a day, take a trade and make several thousand dollars in less than 10 minutes, it, you have to climb the rung, okay? So how are you going to do this? You may have to sift through a bunch of crappy strategies till you meet up with someone like me. And, and this is part of your own journey, okay? So you have to recognize that it can be exciting because the goal is real. Skill teaches you what to do and you learn it and you can take the trades. If you believe in yourself, you can learn something new. If you believe in the market, you'll become successful if you stick with it. You've got to understand that what this is, what you're trying to achieve, so many people want. you got to want it. You know, I really, really, really wanted it. And I did it. And now I'm teaching people to do it too. I want you to think about what I said about the fact that you really have to believe that you're a winner. Say to yourself that you're a winner. So we are approaching the end of 2013 and the beginning of 2014. It's a great time to think about your life. Every year that goes by, people start to consider their future and their financial security with more seriousness. Today's world is not the same as 25 years ago or 10 years ago or even 5 years ago before the bank bailout happened. What we think is a secure job today may be gone tomorrow. We can be great employees, productive, outgoing, hardworking, and it may not even matter to our employer in the end if the company can't keep you on. If a company has poor management, they might fail and it's nothing to do with you. Or your industry might fail and it's nothing to do with you. You are a skilled person with a great mind. And everyone here is a great mind or you wouldn't even be here today to even comprehend what I'm saying. So kudos to you for coming today because you have a good mind if you even came here to listen to what I'm saying. Something I said in the my writings captured your mind to come and listen to me today. So you do have a good, smart brain. You just got to learn to apply it to the market. You can work for yourself trading the market. You got to create your own job security. Create your own future by taking the opportunity to learn how to trade the golden gap and make money, make money, make money trading so you can secure a better future for yourself and for your family. And don't let anything stand in the way of your success. And if you have friends that are poo-pooing you trading, don't talk to them anymore. Don't let anything or anyone stand in your way of success or doing this. It is a dream job if you learn how to do this right. You can achieve financial and personal freedom. Uh, David M. is saying, how long have I been trading this strategy? I started trading the end of 2008. Oh my gosh, it's almost 2014. Yeah. So I started trading the end of 2008, and I did trade gaps at that time. I didn't really throw myself into the only the gaps until the beginning of 2009. So 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. Yeah, five years. Five years I'm going into my sixth year of doing gaps. Now, I didn't, you know, roll out of bed and have 26 points. I started trading gaps and putting it all together. And then I started seeing some didn't work. I didn't understand why some didn't work and some did work. And then I just, you know, was trading. I was trading live. Live money in the market, doing it, going back. You know, people say about uh, uh, back testing things. I, I, I didn't backtest anything. I did it. I did it. And that's why this stuff is good because I did it with my own live money. And when you do stuff, when figure stuff out with live money, it is real. And it makes you go back and figure it out in such detail because you're doing it with real money, you know? And I made this system for myself. I made it for myself. I never made it to trade to teach anyone. I made it for myself to trade. I'm a live trader. Oh, someone else asked me that too. Someone emailed me over the weekend. Do I trade? Yes. Yes, I trade. I trade. I trade my own account. I trade my own money. Empower yourself. Empower yourself today. <laughs> Bubba. Bubba's saying I'm attractive. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> the Golden Gap course is a complete system to use to trade. So it has all the pieces of the puzzle right here. All the pieces of the puzzle to pick the strategy, to take the entries, where to put the stop, where to exit the trade, support, resistance, targets, everything you need. 
The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It, it is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks at a professional bearish gaps. And the key word here is strategic. Okay? Oh, strategic. This is the key word here. Retakes are free. The class is online. It can be anywhere in the world and take the class. It is November 9th and 10th this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $2,499 U.S. dollars. And if you are interested and want to sign up, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I already have more than several people registered, okay? So if you really want to do the class this weekend, it's spots are filling up. And today is only Monday uh, because I had this out last week that I was doing the class this coming weekend, and people want to learn this to trade before 2014. So if you really want to do it, email me and I'll get you the packet of information to sign up and I'll send you the outline that shows the topics covered in the class. Remember, your path to success is a Golden Gap course and you got to get on a path to success. And if you're trading and you're not on doing something successful, pull yourself back. Think about what I said tonight. If someone asked you if you're a winner or a loser, how would you answer right now? Right now without even thinking about it. No thought process, instinct, gut reaction. Do you, would you say you're a winner or would you say you're a loser? you got to believe you're a winner. And if you keep doing something that stinks and you get up every day and you lose, you're gonna, it's going to continue to manifest the losses and you'll believe you're a loser and you're not a loser. You are a winner. You just might be doing something that is a losing play or a losing strategy or a losing system. Okay? And what happens is these things take hold of people and they take hold of their emotions or take hold of people's minds when they're doing bad stuff in the market. And then they think it's them. It's not that's not you. It's whatever you're doing. You just gotta quit it and learn something new. Learn something good that makes you believe in yourself again. Feel that you're a winner. Make the money and find the consistency. November trading is great because it's earnings season. It's earnings season this month. That's another reason it's been busy here getting people signed up for the class. This is a great time to trade. People love to trade between now and the end of the year. People are getting in positions, taking positions off, doing all kinds of things. Fall, the weather is cold. People are inside that like to trade. I'm also doing a trends course on uh, November 13th and 14th. It's from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock Eastern Time. The cost for this class is $9.99. This is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. It's just more for longer term uh, reads on things. Uh, very intellectual course as well. I'm offering a combo class special for November, which saves $4.99. So if you want to do the Golden Gap course and the Trends course, you can do both for $2,999 and save $4.99. And if you're interested in this, you can email me at melissa the stockswish.com. This is a nice savings. So you save almost $500 if you want to do both classes this month. 2014 is almost here. What do you want for your life in 2014? What are you going to be toasting? New Year's Eve rolls around. Are you going to be in a beach? Are you going to be in the Bahamas? Are you going to be wishing that you had learned how to trade this year and not knowing what to do for next year? Where Think about these things. You still have time to learn the stuff and the information. So thank you so much for coming. Does anyone have any questions before we review the earnings for tonight in my live trading room? Does anyone have any questions? Any questions about gaps or the class or anything I said at all tonight? I hope that some of the things I said tonight make you think and are inspirational. It is my desire to inspire people to trade the market successfully and to think consciously about decisions and choices they're making in the market. It really does take skill to trade. However, you can learn how to do it. And if you have any questions, again, here's my email. Does anyone have any questions? Is anyone interested in coming over and looking at some of the earnings tonight? Uh, Hawk is asking about options. I don't trade anything but equities. And again, I'm day trading. So, uh, you know, again, people can do what they wish with this information, meaning you could learn to read directional bias and then take an option in a stock. Some will make sense. Some will not make sense. I'm not doing that, but I'm teaching you directional bias and how to read directional bias in the, in the 26 points. The 26 points tells you, number one, the directional bias and if it's good and going to have follow through. So you could take that information and actually trade 
an option if it financially makes sense. I have had people do that that have taken my class. I don't do that though. But you could learn how to do the directional bias with the stock pick with the company. And if it makes sense to do an option, you could do one. Some it will, some it won't. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, David M., I do not have a schedule yet for 2014 classes. Uh, you know, once the website is 100% completed, which should be by the end of the year, the beginning of 2014, I will have a schedule then for a calendar for next year on the website. Otherwise, you can just email me and I can let you know. Okay. All right, so if everyone wants to stick with it, Kathy's going to push us over to my trading room. You can ask me more questions there, and we're going to look at a couple of things I like tonight. And we'll see if any of them are gapping. So stay with me here. Kathy's going to push us all over whenever you're ready, Kathy.